everybody and welcome to the new mega build for Project Hospital. Now we did start another series about this uh, recently but uh, we've fallen into some traps and basically the money going out was a hell of a lot more than the money coming in. So we're going to try and learn from our mistakes and start a new series and hopefully we will get there. So again we're starting on a completely blank large canvas and we're going to just start building the emergency clinic. So let's get straight into it and we're on pause so we can build freely. Let's just get our foundations going. Okay, so we don't want to do too much foundation building at this present moment. Um, now we can extend to over this but I just want to keep the building a fair size but not too big. Uh, we don't want to use all of our money. So right, let's get... What do we need to hospitalize? Okay, well, we don't need to do anything just yet. So let's get doctor's office. An eight by six is a nice size, I think. I think we'll do eight by six. So we'll do a doctor's office. We'll do a small waiting room, which we're gonna move. Just do a six by six. Uh, and we need a restroom as well, which we'll just do here. So as I say, these are just literally going to be just very small. Um, and we'll just, we'll build on that and we'll, we'll try and expand it out. What I want to do is, is basically this here is where the, oh, it's, uh, it's made a mess of that, hasn't it? Not quite sure what's happened there. Ah, there we go. Oh, I see, he takes it off for, right, okay. So that must be where, okay, so that must actually be where it kind of outlines where we can and can't build, that's fine. Okay, so we have our doctor's office. Let's put the very basics in here. Let's just chuck some walls in. Now the doctor's office is in the right place, so I'm happy for that to remain there. And we will have some walls put up here. Now as the hospital is in construction mode we will leave it kind of open at the moment. Uh, I just want to put a nice door on there. We'll have a nice, a nice white one. We'll go for blue doors for, oh no blue doors are quite warty. We'll, what about a red one? No I think I quite like the brown for, we'll go for brown for doctors. Okay so let's get very basics in here. And I don't want to put too much in at first because realistically I want to uh, expand. Oh no, that's not right. There we go. Expand at a later stage and we will do a few bits and bobs. A printer in there. Okay, uh, we've got some equipment cabinets. Uh, no, we don't want that one there actually. Because that's where the patients are going to be. Equipment uh, cabinets there. Uh, we've got a large equipment cabinet here. Now, these are actually quite expensive, so maybe we should be careful what we're putting in that we don't have to put in. But I, I do like the aesthetics of things, so I'm not too overly worried about adding things like that when it's uh, it's good for the good for business. Uh, eye test, so you can turn around and do the eye test. Medical light, and we'll just pop a chair here for our patients okay so that's that and we'll just we'll pop in some benches for our patients to wait there's, there's going to be 10 so we'll so yeah, we'll probably move this in this stuff at a late stage and we'll just get a Q machine going there and here we go and we need the toilets just get two toilets for now we'll just chuck some walls up just so that they can we'll, we'll close this off actually we will probably remove that at a later stage uh, WC door there we go a wall there 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 we go and then there we go that's all we need, do we? We'll chuck a hand dryer in there. And I think. 
very basic. Okay, so what do we need to open? Open emergency clinic. I think that should open for us. Oh, we have no doctor. Let's just get our doctor first. Doctor. Uh, okay. That should be good. Okay, so we should have 10 patients coming in. So, there we go. There's our doctor. So, how much have we used? 28,000. So, I want to try and stay ahead of how much we're spending now. So, fingers crossed we can see how things go. So, let's just get our first patient in and see how it lands. Okay, so they'll send patients in. Excellent. Uh oh, what's this? Go to. Okay, so they need x rays. Um, I don't want to build an x ray just yet. So we'll send to another hospital. Okay, so we're starting to treat patients now. We're not getting too many done, but hopefully we are making profit compared to. So we'll just wait until the end of the day to see how things are looking up. We will be losing patience, but that's fine. I hope the roof's built. It's roof on. Yeah, we've got a roof on, just about. Okay, now this obviously isn't practical at the moment, but it will become practical as we start building outwards towards. Uh, we'll we'll make, use that as a main entrance and this as a ambulance entrance. No clear diagnosis. Sending another patient away. As I say, I want to grow it nice and steady this time. The issue we had last time is we grew too fast and we were just spending so much money on trying to get things done that we ended up hemorrhaging money left, right and centre. So it looks like we're gonna lose possibly one patient, I think, by the looks of it. We might get to see him in just before we close, but I think we're gonna lose the one. Oh no, we get to see the one. Excellent. So we are seeing the 10 patients. Okay, well that's our doctor done for the day. So we've made 910 credits. We're going to call it credits because I know it is a dollar sign, but uh, I'm not American, so we'll call it credits. So that's our doctor finished for the night, I believe. And there we go, there we have it. So And that's it until the night. So once the night ends, there we go. We can see how much we have made. Okay, so 280 credits we're losing to the 910 we're making. So we've made a profit of about 690. So we can start looking at doing other stuff. So treat 10 patients a day.
and then we get a 20 grand grant. So let's get to, let's get another doctor's appointment in there. Uh, doctors, oh, should we get another doctor's or should we get, uh, let's just, let's just pan out another doctor's. So we want another eight by six. There. Uh, we'll actually move the waiting room to here. Because I want to, uh, I want to make that into a stat lab, and I want the stat lab quite big. So we'll, we'll put a six by six on for now, but it will be bigger, uh, and that'll be fine. We can expand that. We'll just make it so it is ready for expansion. So let's just let's just whack some walls in. Okay, here we go. Okay, that's that there. Oh, I just want to put a wall on there just so we can put the TV on. Okay, let's just, let's clear out what we've got in. Let's pop all. Two, four, six, eight, ten. There we go, let's get a queue. There we go, right. Let's get a lab desk. Do we want a lab desk? Okay, so let's just pop some lab desks. Uh, actually, no, because as I say, I want to expand. So we'll put the lab desks here. Uh, where's the other lab desk? Where's it gone? There it is. Lab desks there. So that's all of our equipment. Uh, we'll have a door here. Where's the door? Restricted area door because it's restricted access. Okay, and then we will. Uh, we need to put some equipment in here. Medical centrifuge, lab sink, lab shelf, and then I want. Uh, Where's our computer desk? Are we going to have to use a lab desk for a computer? Scrub shelf wall there. Okay, glassware here. I just let me just grab the piece. Yeah, it is. So it's going to be one of them, right? That's fine. So we'll get a couple of lab desks in here for our office staff. some PCs in here now, I know I'm spending quite a bit but we'll, we'll we'll be fine here microscope just pop a printer at the end there sample storage can go in there biohazard bin can go there lab analyzer there all right, yeah, there. Well, we have run out of. Uh, so we'll just pop that there for now, just so we can get all of our equipment in, and then we'll just we'll bring one in for now. Uh, cardiology and biology. I think we'll do this one here. This one's a good one. Okay, we'll just need the one doctor. Um, we'll see how the workload at night does. Um, let's have a look. We'll get another doctor's office here. Another exam table here. Uh, medical light here. Again, office desk. We'll pop the office desk in the middle here. We need a normal chair. Let's get some more mounted equipment. Put that behind the there. equipment cabinet. There we go. Kitchen sink. Oh, we need a normal cabinet for that. Uh, cabinet with doors. That'll do. 
I'll just pop you there. Kitchen sink. Printer. I test. Piano patient again. Okay, we'll just need some more bits and bobs in here. Firehouse trash bin there. And that'll do us for that one. And let's just get another doctor in there. Uh, it's probably our best one, really. Okay, let's see how the day goes now. Let's see if we're making a profit. Okay, that's the end of night two. Well, day two, sorry. And it's now the night shift. Obviously, we're only running a day clinic, so there's nobody in. So we'll try and skip the night. And we'll see how the money's done for us. Okay, let's have a look. So, day two, we actually made a loss. Now, the reason why we made a loss is because our patient count dropped down because obviously the previous day was uh, a struggle for us. We sent quite a lot of patients to different hospitals, and that obviously makes an effect. So, let's skip ahead now until day, end of day three, to see how we've done there, and then we'll move from there. Fantastic, as you can see, we have managed to treat the 10 patients now. We seem to have got an extra patient in, which is, uh, which does happen. Um, you get ones dropping in randomly. It's obviously the uh, insurance patients that we want because they make more money. Um, so we've done 10 patients now, so we get a nice big lump sum of money, which we can now look at building more things. So that's what we're going to do. So we'll pause it here in our build section. We will build some more foundation now I want to really push this foundation up to include this area here and the reason why is because this is where we're going to build a reception area um, but I want to build that area there there we go so this is where patients will come in so I'm going to do this here uh, the reason why is because I, I just want the entrance to look nice uh, what is that going to that's going to so it's going to there so yeah that's right there and then what we can do is we can put in some nice flooring that's roof tiles black floor but we have here sand construction ground gravel ground how's that going to look I did absolutely nothing. Can we do something like this? Nope, I did absolutely nothing. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll just do this here. That works. And then we'll get our doors. And we want sliding double doors. I want nice big sliding double doors here. Like so. That's our entrance way. Excellent. So that's now the new entrance. Um, we have our stat lab, but we want to expand on our stat lab. So that side's done. So we will build some more foundation. And we'll, build, we'll just build a nice little area there. And then we need to consider what we want to do. So we've got all these that we need to do. Um, okay, what's our new objective? Tweet 20 patients a day. So we need to try and get 20 patients in somehow. That'll be interesting. So what we'll do is we'll get another doctor's office in. And I think our workload is pretty maximum on both of them. I want, just want a nice big corridor, so a one, two, three, four size corridor, and then we'll do a one, two, three, four size corridor, and then we'll do a what size did we do? Eight by six. One, two, three, four, six, and eight. Eight by six. Again, we want the walls. There we 
go. We need our door. We'll put the door opposite. Like so, and then we just need to fill her up with uh, we'll put it in this corner here. And then we'll put our we'll add this office desk this time, I think. When it lets me click it. Office desk there, PC there. And we just need our chairs to put in. Before I forget, I'm going to put a privacy wall in here. And then we can. No, I don't want to put a sink in. Let's just put a cabinet with doors. Pop you behind the privacy thing. I'm going to put a kitchen sink there so we can wash our hands we can have a disinfected dispenser by the door as usual okay all we need to put some equipment cabinets in one two three and i want a tall one and i want a wall mounted one wherever it is wall mounted equipment cabinet in the middle and we can get our usual stuff on that we need test here can go here medical light can go in the usual spot and then we need a printer and then we'll just pop an equipment table here there we go so that's that one done let's get another doctor in here I mean somebody who's pretty decent this time so we'll shove him in there that's our third doctor so we're ready to take on more staff and um, obviously this is the end of the day so that's it for this episode um, right, sorry for this day even, not episode, because we've still got a bit more to do on it yet. Okay, so let's, I think we're set, so let's skip to the, um, to the next day and see how that does. How we're looking on money as well. Oh yeah, plenty of money as well, so we're making good profit. Hello everybody, welcome back to the next day. And we're still struggling with clear diagnosis, etc. So we, we need, need to think about uh, hospitalizing very soon. So let's have a look at what we've got here. So, what's this here? Building higher one staff for the SAP lab. So, well, we've built and hired a staff. So, oh, that's why. There we go. So, we've already completed that, so we get another 20 grand government grant. Fantastic. So, we need an x ray room now. That's what it's telling us. So, let us build an x ray room. Now, the x ray room is obviously radiology. And we'll just do a small x ray room, probably a 6x6. Six six. Again, uh, do I want to put it there? Okay, I think we need to have to think about this. Um, I think this the whole bottom section is going to be my general doctors. So when we need something for them that they're going to use, we can put them in, I think. Let me... Yeah, possibly. Hmm. I don't like that being in the middle of there because I'm going to have to move it. But if we make enough money off it, yeah. But we'll make enough money off it, so let's just uh, let's just leave it there. For now, um, actually no, no. Let's not leave it right in the middle of the. Let's let's just put a six by six because that can become the new uh, stat lab when it comes to it. So it's not too bad. Um, okay, let's build it. There we go. Uh, we can think about the layouts and stuff like that, but I want all my radiology stuff together. I think I'm I'm not. I know it means that patients have to be moving about and stuff, but. Uh, Double x-rays, we just need an x-ray, single x-ray door. There. And then let's get equipment in. Okay, and we'll do a concrete tiled wall there. And then we'll put a door in here. Like so. And let's continue to Uh, 
this desk there, PC there, office chair there, wall mounted equipment dispensers there, normal equipment dispensers there as well. Let's get our x ray in. Oh, that's big. Bigger than I expected, actually. Let's find x ray control. Go there. X ray viewer. Why are you saying you can't get access? Oh, actually, so. Ah, right, okay. So, can we put you any closer to. I'll pop you there. We've got the x ray viewer. We'll pop another x ray viewer as well so that the patient can see it. Okay, that's going to cost us a fortune in the end, but uh, needs must and all that. And we'll just pop a, an equipment cabinet underneath as well. Oh, you've got no access to that. Oh, that's not the one I wanted to move. Okay, there we go. Okay, oh, let's hire our members of staff. Uh, radiology, we need a good radiologist. Okay. So we get 10 more patients in a day. So it's up to 20 now. Excellent. Uh, now we've spent quite a bit, but we're still on. We're still on for good amounts of money. See, we're still about the same as what we were using before. So I'm kind of, yeah, I'm kind of, I'm happy with that. We're making a fair bit of money now. So yeah, look at that. Look at that. That's actually we're up. So that's good. Um. There's no valid waiting rooms within reach of the radiology rooms. Oh, okay, so we need we need a waiting room. Did not realise, so we'll just we'll just pop you at four before here. And we'll just chuck a quick bench. There we go. There's a waiting room now. Okay, let's see if she comes back. I thought she will. Right. So we're definitely getting more patients now. How's our... If we actually use this, we can see our workload. So we're about... Yeah, it's good workload. Um, our radiology room obviously is on a zero at the moment, but that's fine. Uh, and that doesn't account for any workload, so... Our x-ray room is being used. Excellent. Okay. And that's just superseded that there. So let's just remove that out of there. There we go. Okay. So at the end of day four, let's see how our finances are looking. So we made money. Now we're, we're losing radiology money there because... We don't we don't gain any money from radiology, uh, so that's why it's yellow. Obviously, the rest of the area is where it makes the money, um, and it kind of offsets itself. So you're making about 100 credits, 150 credits. Um, there we go, like 150 credits there uh, being made. Now, obviously, that landed as we increased our patient count. So the next day, the patient count should be a lot higher, and we should expect to make more money. Um, so I'm going to shoot ahead to that now, um, and that's kind of where the episode's going to end. Um, and as you can see, we've got no name for the hospital at the moment, so um, I want you guys to have a think about the name for the hospital. I want to name it um, from one of your suggestions, so leave a suggestion in the comment section below. Let me know um, any kind of name ideas. Uh, if you'd like to see a different type of layout, anything like that, you know, if you want me to try a little experiment on something, you know, let me know. I say in the comment section and I'll do that for you. So let's shoot on up to the end of day five to see how we're doing. Okay, and that's coming to the end of the day shift now, or at least the clinic's now closed. And as you can see, we've hit another a uh, another uh, objective. So we've got another twenty thousand uh, pound, sorry, twenty thousand credits. We've already agreed it's credits. We've got another credit 
grant so we're going to expand again for some more doctors hospital uh, some more doctor's offices as because if you can see if we go to our management section we are at 100 percent capacity on our work all day so our, our doctors are really struggling i mean the, the x-ray is fine so, you know stat slabs fine everything else is fine we're keeping up with everything else we just cannot keep up with the patients and as you can see unfortunately we've had to turn away 10 patients today so let's get back into here oh actually no we need some more foundation first so let's build more foundations and we will put you here like so and then we'll have another eight by six doctor's office eight by six there and then we'll build it with the usual walls oh that's our, the wrong walls that i want to use for this that's another doctor's office there uh, we'll pop another door in there okay let's get it kitted out so that we can have another another doctor's office so we should hopefully be able to uh gonna be too close it's gonna be a little too close that um we should be able to take a little bit more um patient turnaround uh, on board hopefully that's the that's the general plan why have you that's just annoying so i'm just going to remove that completely uh, i did not realize i was going to do that so. let's get the no I want the... that's annoying so can we get a that's very annoying oh we can do that though so that's good Okay, so our printer there, and let's get our equipment cabinets in there. I like I like a wall cabinet as well, just so it looks good. Right, usual stuff's in here. Oh, medical light. Our eye test. Uh, we need another chair for our patient. Disinfectant dispenser there. And a bin, as per usual, we'll have an equipment table here. Okay, so oh, we'll just chuck it all we can't because it's a camera, but that's fine. I'm happy with that. Let's get a doctor in here and see who we have. Oh, a nice, decent doctor there. Let's take you on board. Okay, so that's the end of this. So let's see how we've done on money. Um, oh, we haven't. We can't yet. So let's just uh, let's just wait until the end of the day and see. I mean, we can already see. We can already look at that. I mean, there you go. So that's you know we're making thirteen hundred profit here. So we're really getting on board now, and that's only going to increase with our new doctor. I think that's actually took into account the new doctor's wages as well that we've just got. So we kind of hired him probably at the wrong time. Um, so that's it for this episode. Thank you very much, everybody, for tuning in on the new series. Uh, apologies that the old build didn't go according to plan but hopefully we have the feedback we've had and the uh, kind of the play on we should hopefully be able to do quite a decent build and we'll uh, we'll make this to the mega hospital that we want it to be um, and we still have our general idea so we'll have this is our triage area here this is our general doctor's area here um, and I'm actually going to make this probably the radiology and we'll keep I don't know we'll, we'll work that bit out but this certainly here will be the triage and um you know for emergencies and stuff like that because i mean that's where the ambulance comes in there um so yeah so thank you very much everybody for tuning in make sure you hit that thumbs up button if you have enjoyed the new series and make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so as earlier mentioned leave any comments in the comment section below and we will get back to you and hopefully we can make some improvements uh, based off of your based off of your comments because this is your series for the mega build on the mega hospital double megas there and as i say once we have a name we will issue that out and we will place that on future episodes and i will give credit to those who have um, suggested and a credit to the person who i ultimately choose the name from until next time everybody take care for now and i'll speak to you all soon until next time bye bye for now